Hope all you swabbies are still awake. Late night mega here. Yeah, I'm starting on the ship. Uh, just so I can use the boat intro again. Because I like using the boat intro. Uh, so, like I mentioned last time, during our collecting collectibles, we were just running around collecting a bunch of stuff. Uh, we're starting at Lanolulu and we're heading north. We're going to have a few battles along the way. I mean, I suppose I could have done this sea travel off camera, but I wanted to show off some of our new a critical spell. It's been a while since we had one of those. Some of our new equipment, like the Falcon Blade that uh, Jace didn't even get to use in that battle. <laughs> um... But yeah, I mentioned last time that we we're going to start in Lanolulu and we're going to head north, and I wanted to show off that scene. That looks so cool. Doesn't that? I love some of the scenery. I, I like some of the scenery in video games in general. Just the, just the ways that people express the uh, different environments and such is really neat. We have a new enemy here, Dython. Wait, did we fight the Dithons already? I don't think we did. I don't know, I don't remember them. So yeah, there's the Falcon Blade. You can see that it's doing 78 damage, whereas our Platinum Sword was hitting for about 60 to 70-ish. Or 50 to 60, depending on the enemy. And the Dython ran away. If it was going to run away, why did it even hop on our boat and attack us? I, I don't get it. Anyways... So yeah, I just like, and this is just video games in general, I like some of the environments that they make. Very well designed, very well, you know, drawn, and... and I, I, I just like, in general, looking at different environments in nature. I, I do like, uh, I do enjoy nature walks, believe it or not. I especially like, um, like things that are looking out at like the beach or water or um, yeah any sorts of scenery like that waterfalls I think those are really cool whether it's real life or in uh, video games there there are some really cool video game environments especially in like Final Fantasy 12 and Dragon Quest 11 here hasn't been too bad although Dragon Quest 11 with all the issues we have with the camera angle and the trees, it's almost like it's encouraging deforestation. You know, go go and chop down all the trees in real life so they don't uh, interfere with your camera angles. Uh, is this a new... Uh, this looks like a general heel slime, and it is a general heel slime. It is a group of heel slimes. Well, this is not good. I guess it's not difficult either. Probably could have saved Serena's MP and just done that. Oh well. Another day, another victory. So this is going to be oh a tortoise shell. This is gonna be a slime island. And here's that carved figure, so what I'm gonna do though, since I'm not in a rush to get that warlock thing, I'm gonna wait until we find some sort of campsite up north just so I can zoom back back really easily. And right now we don't have one of those, so I don't feel like making the whole boat trip again. So we'll return that quest at some point. It's just not going to be right now. And yeah, this is... I don't remember if I fought these enemies or not because it's been, it's been a while. But yeah, they're a group of the... they're the basic shell slimes. So they're going to be absolutely no challenge, and we're just going to obliterate all of them. 
And Serena's just going to make sure of that. <laughs> Yeah, this time lightning. Yes, yeah, see, I forgot to equip his new rock. Deck. I kind of forgot about well, it. Well, that was easy. Yes, Not it was. Bad. And Jade's gonna level up off of it. Okay. want to, haha, you do want to search around each of the corners because you'll never know when you come across jars that have many metals. Well, there's a treasure over here. There's all sorts of goodies on these islands. Oh, another slime crown. Okay. And we do have a new enemy to battle. There's you saw the you saw the glimpse of them. There's king slimes over here, but I saw the sparkle spot over here. Let's see what this is. A celestial skein. Well, we actually used I used up all of the uh, ones of those that I had forging those two pairs of angels sandals. I thought I saw something else down there, but no, yeah, I guess not. King slimes. This is what I thought all of those other slimes, the basic slimes we saw over somewhere, that I thought they were going to form together and make a king slime. You can see he has a slime crown on him. That's not what I meant to do. I was going to try and use a whack with uh, Serena. Oh great, it's healing. Oh, it has double attack. Well, that's not good. Dang. Let's see, another thing to note. Yeah, I just lost my Oh, hey, there's a uh let's see we we fell oh, from a greater height. Silver ore. Iron, I think this one's platinum. No, silver. Okay. Um What was I just gonna say? I was gonna say something important. I guess it can't be that important, right? It was something about something about Rab. I don't know, but speaking of Rab, uh, he's using dark magic, and that's dark magic is kind of an ability in RPGs that we tend to not get a lot of access to. Because, well, you know, it's it's dark, and, you know, you're supposed to be the hero, and you're using, you know, light magic, healing magic, and and just other, you know, other elementals, like fire, ice, lightning, that stuff. But it's not often that you get characters with access to dark magic. Yeah, we're done here because we don't have the other, we don't have the other key. But I'll make a note of this, and in fact, I am still keeping a list of the, uh the other cell locked doors. So yeah, we're just gonna head northwest from here. And well, I'm thinking I saw the anchor spot and I'm like, oh, well, maybe I can zoom to here. No, no, I cannot. It was worth a shot though.
And we have more enemies. Those those otter things, I think those are new. I think we fought them already in this episode and I was just babbling. So much for the war griffin. Hey, we got one. But I was gonna say you're gonna see me like using whack on these things more, and then you're gonna see it missing as well. It's it is kind of still a crapshoot whether it uh, works or not. And there's this little island out here. Now this should be this could have been something hidden, but it's not. It's just kind of there. But now we're going to head towards this other light spot. War Griffin. Griffin. War Griffin and the Diathon. Sure, why not? Oh, that's rude. Oh, and apparently those things can poison us. We saw a little poison animation. We didn't actually get poisoned, so I appreciate that. I also appreciate it when uh, our death spell works. It doesn't work all the time, though, but I think I am going to start using it with Serena more. Goodness. Just because if there's nothing else for her to do in battle, her damage output with Woosh just for the most part, isn't useful. So I'd rather take, even if it's like just a 50% chance to uh, one-shot an enemy. Plus she's regaining enough MP after battle. I'm going to skip that light pull and I'm going to go over to this other little island first, just to make sure we hit this other little island. And, uh, yes, it will come back to confuse me. I just feel like if I take the next uh, light thing, that's going to be the path of progress. And I'd rather explore this little island than take the path of progress. Yeah, see it missed there. And Rab's pepped up, and because of that, I feel like uh, Wax should work better. Or have a higher chance of working. Well, it worked there. We have all four of our people pepped up. We could do something with this. The only problem is I don't really care to do anything with this. I'll be honest, I still miss that uh, Scorched Earth uh, pep-up power that Eric has. It's not enough of a reason, though, for me to use him over Jade. I still can't get that to happen. <laughs> I also like how they, you know, chomp on a shell, they're like, oh, it's not good, and then they throw it at us. Just gonna start doing this. We, we've almost got him at this point. Now we definitely have him. Wonderful. Ho ho! I'm better than ever. Uh, yeah. Okay. If that's what you say. But he does have enough skill points to get the zing stick. Yeah! No more, uh... hope this revival spell works deal.
So we have another new island. These look like Mana Wars. They are Mana Wars. And no, they're not gonna, like, combine to form a giant Mana War. This is just gonna be... Actually, this is her last turn with Pep Up, so... I'm gonna do the, uh, Scorching Sweep. Which can still come in handy. Not bad at all. I believe it stuns anything it doesn't kill. But here's a new enemy. And I feel sometimes that since we have these smaller enemies, and given the type of enemy this is, that it might... Uh... Sometimes in the Dragon Quest games, I think it happened in Dragon Quest. I know it happens in other RPGs. Uh, an enemy like this might eat a smaller enemy and get a considerable attack boost or whatever. So yeah, I'm going to take out the smaller enemies first. Then we'll contend with this thing. Did that say Kriller Killer? Yeah, Kriller Killer. It's just like the uh, giant scorpion thing we fought back at uh, Galapagos. Thank goodness. Was that Galapagos? Yeah. So we're just going to explore around this little island, and we're gonna be disappointed because we can't actually walk around that rock. What gives? Why would you put the invisible wall there? This is so weird. And that looks like a Coralossus, and it is. It's not a new enemy, but I'm gonna fight him anyways just to make sure it's not like a new fr Or he's gonna, you know, run away. Well, we'll fight him later. Oh, hi there. There's a Silk Blossom. Which is good, because those things are a thousand gold each. <laughs> to buy, that is. Can't believe I went and did that for crafting materials. I know I said I wasn't going to, but uh, for those angel sandals, I'm going to. Oh, hi there. World Walker. A tribute fit for a queen. Okay. Yeah, if you say so. Oh, hey, another thing. Why can't I just run along this walk? Come on. Blue eye and some silver ore. Okay. And I think that pretty much uh, is everything we can do with this island. This island's kind of lame. Hey, he's back. Yep, just the basic core losses. And I feel like this should take them out. Well, it takes out one of them. And there goes the core loss. And that kind of shows you how far we've come uh, against just enemies in general. I know it feels a lot of times with Dragon Quest uh, games that we're hardly making any progress with our level ups and our overall strength. Like, it's very slow going. But then when you go back and fight an enemy that was challenging earlier, or even ch somewhat challenging not too long ago, and you're just like straight up dominating them, it's like, okay, we have made quite a bit of progress. All right, now we'll head back to that other uh, light spot.
And of course, we're going to have a battle on the way there. We have to have a battle on the way there. It's just too long of a distance to not have a battle. Hey, Otter Shambles. I still maintain that this uh, enemy design with the face inside a face is really creepy. I don't know what they were thinking when they made, <laughs> made this style of enemy. And here they find the shell that they wanted that increases their attack and gives them an HP recovery. So now we have problems. But now those problems don't matter. <laughs> Alright, so here we are at the Vortex of Light. Vortexes are cool. Lion's gonna teleport us over to here. And this island, which is actually just another... It, it's not a main plot area. It's, a, it's another one of those small side islands. And we get an accolade for visiting all of the small side islands. And this is a very small side island, but it has a magic key door. Which makes me really glad we didn't travel this way earlier and come across this. Because back when we didn't have the magic key, because we could have. There's, there's like nothing out here. Ooh, hey, there's a new enemy. Mostodon. Uh, so we'll fight him normally. See roughly how much health he has. What he takes to take down. Oh, I know what I was going to say earlier. Uh... So the whole Jace with the Falcon Blade... Ow. Jace with the Falcon Blade... He does. He still isn't even in the, uh... Hurt. Okay, now he's yellow. Uh, using the Falcon Slash ability does not result... I thought that killed her. I really did. Yeah, I'll show you how to critical hit. Dang. We're going to have to use more heal on her. Um, anyways, Jace's Falcon Slash ability will still only do two attacks, but they will they are actually stronger than, uh, than his normal just attack. So there is that. More new enemies. Grenades. Grin aids. Because they're grinning at it. Oh my gosh. These guys are silly. These guys are also not. not a joke. Well, some of them. I don't know. I remember. These guys just really went to pieces. Interesting. Anyways, I, I vaguely recall in some Dragon Quest game, one of those boulder type enemies like that did something really nasty. I want to say like self-destructed on us or something. Maybe I've just played too much Pokemon with uh, <laughs> Geodudes and Gravelers self-destructing. I don't know. But I feel like there was, there was one of those enemies in some Dragon Quest game that just ended up being really, really nasty. And everywhere else, they had never been that nasty. I don't remember what Dragon Quest game that is. I don't know if it was 3 or 4 or 5 or 9. It would have to be one of those. Or 2. It would have to be one of those, because those, the, those are the only other ones I played. Um, or it could be the Dragon Quest Monsters games. That, that would be an option.
He just punched me in the face. That's my job. And yeah, this is just basic golem. We fought these before. But again, he's here. I just wanted to make sure. I'll make sure he's dead, too. There we go. Hey, a silver ore. Like, I don't have enough of those. And there's a sparkle spot, a cherry blossom petal. Oh, well, that's new. And we do have gate thing here. And what do we get? What do we get? What do we get? Sainted Soma. I don't know what that is. It's with our basic item. It sounds like it might be a crafting item. We'll just assume it's a crafting item and not do anything with it. I also like views of nature where you're like looking out from high up on a, a cliff top or a mountain top or something. I just think that's so cool. Oh, hey, a treasure. See, this is why I like to explore every corner. Oh, a mini metal. Okay, worth it. Well, what am I doing? I don't even know what I'm doing. Oh, I was looking up Sil Silvando because he learned Remid Heal. It only tires a single ally. I'm not interested in that. I mean, I have uh, Rab's Right as Rain, which basically is a Remid he Heal on all of our party. Yeah, I like Rab. Alright, and yes, I'm going to be starting out on the voting. I'm going to zoom around here just real quick. Make sure there's nothing. Make sure we can't do anything here. We cannot. Although it looks like we should be able to, but no, we can't. So I'm going to start on the boat next time so we can use our boat intro yet again. So, yeah. I'll see you guys then.